How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, and we are going to continue our Sekiro walkthrough. So, before we continue on to Harada Castle, uh, we're going to pick up a couple things that we kind of skipped over over in the Harada Estate. So, if you're following along with me, you're going to want to go ahead and go to Harada Estate Bamboo Thicket Slope. Same idol that I like to go to for XP grinding at low levels. Oh, we got the attention of that dude, but actually that's okay. We're gonna go up here anyways, so. Um, oh my goodness. Don't even worry about taking damage from these guys, because we're actually gonna skip them. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna pretend this never happened. Let's just go ahead and reset. <laughs> Okay, um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and grapple up here and we're gonna swim beyond the bridge. There's actually another treasure carp so we can get our fifth scale, which is enough to go get a uh, uh, an ability, but on my other playthrough I did that and I found that it wasn't really worth. So I'm actually going to go ahead and save my scales this time for the uh, mask fragment. Because when you get all of the mask fragments, you can actually use your skill points to increase your attack power. So let's go ahead and grab the contact medicine. We're going to break through this little doorway here. Now up, up the uh, tunnel here, there's actually a really tough enemy. I'm going to try to kill him first try, but we'll see how it goes. You actually don't have to kill him in order to get the treasure that he's guarding. You could just lure him out, like, back to where we are right now. That's a pretty awesome view. But, um, yeah, you could just lure him down here and then run and grab the treasure. But, uh, we're gonna try to get him, uh, just fighting him straight on. So, maybe I'll flame vent him. Actually, maybe I could throw an oil at him just to... Let's 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 try messing with him. Let's let's throw an oil and then flame vent him. See if that does anything. But basically, you're gonna want to uh, parry his attacks, and when he does the thrust attack, you're gonna want to use your Makari counter. Easier said than done, I know. But and there he is. Oof! That kick was was uh, pretty strong, but I got him covered in oil. There we go. Just focus on blocking his attacks. Oh wow, he almost killed me. There it is. Whew, that was very close, but we got him. Heck yeah. Uh, so he'll drop the uh, scrap iron, give us a lot of XP at this level anyway. And now we can go ahead and get the treasure that he guards, which is a prosthetic tool upgrade. Um, I didn't really use it like at all in my first playthrough, but I'm going to actually go ahead and try to use the Mist Raven Feather in this playthrough. Just kind of test it out, see if I like it or not. So, uh, before we can actually use it, we're going to have to head back to the dilapidated temple, of course, and uh, try to use it. Actually, I see an item up there. Interesting. Let's go, let's go see if we can get that item real quick. Death from above! Okay, I totally missed that. Good way to heal is actually just killing people, you know? Miss me. Oh my god. These guys always give me trouble, I don't know why. Like, you either kill them in two seconds, or they like completely destroy you, like one or the other. <laughs> 
Alright, now I forgot where that item was. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go get that. Not sure what it is. But we're gonna get it. Just a dowsing powder. Alright, so... Ooh, let's ambush these guys, shall we? Whoop! Bam! It's like, what's happening? Might as well get the XP while we're sitting here. Oh, oh, in the back, in the, oh, I see how it is. Oh, you're too far away, I don't want to mess with them. Actually, forget you, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head back to Dilapidated Temple. And let's fit this mist raven feather that we have. Here we are. Hope you guys are enjoying the walkthrough, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, wherever you guys might be. Almost. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, fit new prosthetic, Miss Raven. So basically, uh, what it does is, oops, that's not it. It'll allow you to like uh, disappear and appear somewhere else, like when they attack you. It's pretty cool. Um, can I, let's see, can I do any, up Ooh, we can upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade the shuriken, it's actually really useful. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't have enough materials to upgrade anything else, so that's okay. Nope, 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 I'm done with you, sorry. So when you upgrade a prosthetic, it doesn't actually replace, like, the prosthetic. They're actually, like, equipped separately so like what I mean by that is now I have the regular shuriken and the spinning shuriken so you actually got to go and select the upgraded one if you want to use it uh, okay so instead of the axe I'm gonna use the mist raven because the axe you never really need to use unless you're fighting the shield guys so let's go ahead and see what it does I, I never even really use it so when you pull it and they hit you Wow, you only have like a second to do that. It's almost like countering in a way. Oh, it only uses the uh, spirit emblem if you actually uh, use it correctly. So that's pretty cool. So you can just spam it away and won't waste it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue the walkthrough now. So we're going to go to Ashina Castle Gate. All right, um, so from the castle gate, uh, real quick, if you haven't, if you have a lot of gold on you, or a sen, I guess it's called, uh, there's a shopkeeper right up those stairs, like right above my head. You can buy some, uh, what are they called? Uh, coin purses. The reason you want to buy coin purses is if you die, you don't lose your sen if, if you buy the coin purse. And you can always sell these, like, anytime you want to get your sen if you want to buy something, so it, it, it's smart to do. Anyways... Let's continue on up here. So we're gonna fight a uh, another. Wow, I didn't think he would hit me. We're gonna fight another mini boss here pretty quickly. But before we do that, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clear these guys out. Might as well take this dude out. Just shuriken these dogs, no problem. If you want to use a spinning, you got to hold it down. Look how much damage that did. Gotcha. I used some spirit emblems, but no, no big deal. So let's go back and grab this item right here. Oop. Ceramic shard. I literally never use a ceramic shard. Maybe I'll try. All right, so right up these path, this path here. These are the dudes that the Tengu guy wanted you to kill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if we if we can sneak behind this guy right here, it'll help. Who saw me? There's somebody behind the wall over there that saw me. That's crazy. Let's eavesdrop on these guys. Actually, that's not where you're going next because I'm going to kill you guys right now. Sorry. Alright, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and... 
grab this guy. Now watch out, because these guys like to throw poison. They're also really hard to hit. I'm almost dead. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that. That's fine though. I'm actually gonna let him reset, then I can backstab him maybe. Probably a much easier way to kill him, maybe even using the axe. But this works too. And that'll give me my resurrect back as well. So, alright, so pellet right there. No biggie. I kind of want to go back to Tengu, and because I have four skill points, let's do that. I didn't on my first playthrough, but I kind of want to right now. So let's go back to, actually we're pretty much here, yeah. Let's just run right up here real quick. It's not far at all. If I'm correct about this, and those were the guys he was talking about, we will get access to an entire new skill tree, so I feel like it's worth. And the skill tree is very useful because it's good at breaking posture. Let's talk to him real quick. Oh. Yep. Oh. Bam! Ashina Esoteric Text. A compendium of the Ashina sword style allows one to learn Ashina style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin, Ashina's battles. When young, Ishin fought desperately. Time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He consolidated his learnings under the Ashina style name for the sake of his clan's dominance. Alright, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. So, what that does, let's go ahead and go to an idol so I can show you the uh, skills that we can acquire. I did a little bit of grinding before this video. Just a couple runs through the bamboo thicket to get to uh, four skill points, I think I have. Well, I think I had three, but now I have four. So it's good to do in between areas is grind uh, some areas a little bit. So now if we go to acquire skills, you can see we have a third tree here. It's kind of a small tree, but it's a good one. So this one, the Ichimanji, is an overhead attack that you can charge that will uh, break posture. So it's very useful, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab that. And then these two actually just basically will boost your uh, damage to enemy posture after you deflect an attack, and after, yeah, basically. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that one right there, and then we'll save up for that one, I guess. All right, sweet. So um, now let's go ahead and continue now that we got these attacks. So I'm probably not going to equip it right now, but I'll show you what it looks like. This is what the Ichimon... Bam! It's, it's really strong. We can use it on this guy if you want. Just one shot that dude. No big deal. But I actually like the Whirlwind Slash a lot because it's good when you're fighting group enemies. Alright, um, so the next area has a mini boss for us. Oh, that was cool. I used the Mist Raven. What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, you're dead. How did you not see that fight going down, man? You are blind. Alright, uh, so I believe right through these doors, pretty much. Oh, hello. Pretty much right through these doors is the giant bull, I think. Be well, alright, if it's not up through these doors, it's gonna be the next area. Let's go kill the big dude first.
If I'm right and the big bull thing is up here, basically you want to dodge behind it. Oh, there's two of you. How pleasant. Let's go up here. I don't think I went up here before. That'll reset the uh, big person as well. I thought we, I could have sworn I fought the bull right here. Maybe it's the next next spot. It's been a little while since I've done this. I, I pretty much complete the game on my other on my other save. I'm basically near the end. But now that I'm so far ahead on my other save, I want to, uh, you know, try to catch up on this walkthrough because I know there's a lot of you guys that like these videos. All right, the big big person reset, but the little guy still has not to reset, which is really annoying. He's just walking backwards real slowly. Real slowly, man. Oh, you are dead, dude. You are so dead. Alright, where'd that other guy go? No peripheral vision at all. Alright, let's just scout a little bit, make sure I'm not missing any items. Here we go. Scrap iron. Very nice. Don't think there's anything else over here. If I miss an item, go ahead and let me know, guys. Fish, fistful of ash. I'm pretty much trying to 100% this, so... If I don't get it in my first uh, playthrough, this is the type of game where you go through the same areas many times, so it's not a big deal. If you miss something, you can always go back and get it. Because uh, you're probably going to be going back anyways. Alright, so the bull is up here. I, I got it mixed up. Desperate times come for desperate measures. Which means we need a giant bull with flaming head. Alright guys, so this is the bull battle. Let's go ahead and get it over with. The first time I ever saw this, I beat it without any guide or anything, so I'm pretty hopeful that I can do it again. But we're going to be careful just in case. I don't think we can grapple up here. Hi guys! Oh! Just make sure you stay behind it and you'll be fine. got me good there oh man Just trying to get behind him okay man I'm dead I'm dead don't worry about it always try to get behind him here A lot of running in this battle. Ooh, you must come in 
that time. And that time. You kind of want to stay close to him. Ooh, you did it the other way that time. I do like that you have no stamina in this game, so you don't really have to worry about, like, running out of running ability. Ow, ow. We're doing pretty good. Okay, he's really mad now. We got him, baby. Right in the head. Alright, we got Shinobi Medicine rank 2. Got a prayer bead. Beat him first try. What? The enemy's still alive? They're like, how is it possible? Alright, let's talk to this lady. Senpao Temple. Okay, lady. Actually, down in that uh, swampy looking moat, there is actually some stuff. Uh, later on in the game, you can learn how to dive underwater, and uh, that becomes useful then. All right, let's go ahead and resurrect. That was a nice little mini boss there. Uh, we'll go on a little bit further. Um, so there's another mini boss right up the stairs there. Pretty easy to take out if you have shurikens, though. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina. We are unbreakable. Like, who is that? They're like, who? Why? Wait, why are they all dying? Oh, there's a memory here. Pretty cool. So, alright, so once you get to Ashina Castle, it can be very confusing because there's a lot of different, like, routes that you can take in this area um and nothing is like no route is like wrong or anything like you could go mess over here there's literally so many areas oh okay they saw me my bad didn't mean to get attention yet yeah these guys are really annoying the rooftop dudes uh let's get over the wall Not going to rest because I don't want these dead guys to come back to life, but uh, let's go ahead and grapple up on the top left. Alright. Now, what I'm going to try to do, uh, we'll get that item later. After we kill the mini boss, we'll grapple around the rooftops and explore a little bit. So, there's the main boss, which is basically the same general dude that you've already killed twice, and this dude, which. 
There we go. Alright, he's dead. <laughs> dead easy. And then we'll let the uh, general guy reset. He's like, why is everybody dying around me? I just gave a great speech. I don't understand. So we'll be able to sneak attack him at least once. To uh, get rid of some of his health. Can even open this chest here. Don't mind if we do, bud. Divine grass. Very nice. All right, you dead, boy. Nope, no healing. Oh. oh, I keep trying to jump when he's doing that. There we go. Try to counter again. There we go. So apparently he does the uh, stab a little more often than he does the sweep. So just be ready to hit uh, circle. All right. Got my blood pumping a little bit. So we've taken on too many bosses. We got two prayer beads. How many prayer beads do I have like in total? Do I have enough to upgrade my health? I do. Can upgrade my health. Um, kind of want to do that. All right, let's go back to the the idol real quick. We can't we can't open this anyways. Uh, let's go back to the idol, upgrade our vitality, and with the mini boss dead, now we can grapple around the rooftops. And uh, just a couple things that I want to do, uh, show you guys, and then it'll be an episode. We'll save the uh, main boss of this area for the next episode probably. All right. That really helps out to get our second prayer necklace. Increases our vitality and posture quite a bit. Probably like 10%. So, very, very nice. Alright. So, all those guys respawn, but the uh, general guy does not. So, Alright, let's grapple over to where we saw that bird nest. We can go ahead and grab this item. Just watch out for the dudes that throw swords and stuff. They, they can be pretty annoying. Leave. We want to go to this building over here. I think we can get inside here somewhere. I think it's this building. Maybe it's not. It is kind of confusing getting around up here because there's all the buildings look the same pretty much. And it's hard to see. I could have sworn that you could get in over here. Maybe I got a ledge hang. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not this one. Alright. Maybe it's this one. Uh... Oh, there's a dude right here we can kill. Surprised he didn't attack me. A little bit earlier but yeah don't be scared to just uh, look around I want to jump for this grapple get behind maybe this is the building I'm thinking of No, definitely not this one. All right. Yeah, just be sure you check around all the buildings because there are some that you can get inside with uh, secret stuff in there. All right. Let's keep moving along, moving along, hopping along the rooftops like a badass. All right, let's grapple up here. 
So basically the, the main boss of the area is obviously uh, at the top of the biggest tower <laughs> over there. So he's pretty easy to find. Not a rush to go fight him at all. I like to explore a little bit. Some of you guys probably have already explored this area a million times, so you know that I'm wasting my time here, but it's all good. I also like to just take in the scenery a little bit too. Alright, so we're gonna actually jump to this grapple. Barely can get it. There we go. And then from this one, I believe we can get up to the big roof up there. I might have to go up a little more, maybe not. Yeah, I need to... There we go. Okay, I've been spotted! Oh my. They have weak posture, but they do a lot of damage, so just be careful. Especially when they're all throwing boomerangs at you, it's pretty annoying. Especially watch out for the dude on the kite. The dude on the kite- hey, I got another skill point. The dude on the kite, he will come flying at you. Like, a million miles an hour. That dude is, like, so frustrated down there, he doesn't know how to get back up. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just be ready for this guy. Here he comes. Hi. There's a few more guys up here, I believe. Yeah, so um, let's let's go ahead and grapple over here if we can. That guy didn't see me, so it's all good. You think he he's gonna see me if I grapple right there? I bet you he will. He called his friends, oh no. Okay, now there's a whole ton of them. That's not what I wanted at all. Alright, you know what guys? You know what guys? I'm gonna just hop over here. Turn the corner and really quickly go up here for a gourd seed, but more importantly an idol where we can rest really quick. The guy down that window, he will kamikaze explode you, so just be careful. Let's rest a couple times to calm everyone down. <laughs> that was uh, intense. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and grab the gourd seed. Uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I missed... Um, I don't want to die by this crazy dude again. Oh my gosh. I was holding guard and I still died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that in one of these buildings, like... Ow. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen if you're not careful. If not from the kamikaze dude, then from the flying kamikaze dudes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I can get inside one of those buildings. Uh, I'm going to have to check on that. But we can always go back and get that. So these dudes right here are insanely strong. Just go for parries. Don't even bother attacking. If you parry... You will do great. If you don't parry, well, it's gonna be harder.
There we go. Not the best job, but we got it done. Beautiful artwork I'm destroying, I know. Alright, so in this next room, there's going to be quite a few of these dudes. Um, so, just got to be really careful. Um, we could actually use the ceramic <laughs> thingy right here, ceramic shard, to uh, throw at them. Something I never really do. Or, you know, we could just go like this. That, that seems to work pretty well, too. And then, you know, we can go ahead and kill the uh, crazy lady right here. No big deal. She's, she's actually a one-shot anyways. But yeah. I believe there's a few dudes in here, so just be really careful about that. Wow, we're, we're stealth taking down all these guys, man. This is great. My first playthrough, it was uh, it was a mess going through here. Let's just put it that way. All right, I know there's a couple guys in here, so let's see if we can sneak these guys as well, man. I'm doing really good on my sneaking. All right, so there's two of them. I'll get one of them at least. What you got? You have met your match. Not just your match, either. Alright, let's go ahead and grab those, and then walk right through those swords, and we're gonna hug this little area for a secret room! Da -da 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 -da. With, I think, another gourd seed, if I'm not mistaken, or a prayer bead. One of the, it might be a prayer bead. Yeah, prayer bead. Not bad, not bad. Grab the light coin purse. Secret rooms are always awesome, right guys? Definitely. I found this one all by myself as well. No guide needed. Alright, um... So, we're gonna go ahead and grapple up top. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any items. I don't think we did. Is that a chest I can open? Oh no, it's just a... Alright. Yeah, alright, so let's grapple up here. Turn around. Grab the uh, sugar. This room can be kind of tough because there's like multiple dudes in here. Uh, so just be careful of that. I'll go ahead and try to kill this guy from above. Didn't really want to fight two of these guys. So in fact, I'm going to grapple back up, which will actually reset them pretty quickly, and then we can finish uh, killing the rest of them. I was going to use a ceramic shard, and see, I never did. Like, I've, I've never found a real good use of the ceramic shard yet. Still waiting on that. I mean, it's basically used so you can throw and, and hit somebody, I think, and then they'll come, come at you, but... Alright, I don't know if these guys will reset if I stay right here, so let's just run back. They'll reset really quick if I run back here. Right? Yep. Okay. Fools! You think I'm dead? Oh, they're both doing exactly the same moves. Where are you hiding in the corner? Let's go ahead and open the doors. A little shortcut path, anyways, to the uh, bonfire if we wanted to, but or idol, sorry. You guys did not hear that. All right, so should we kill those guys? I say yes. Very patient. 
but so am I. Stop that. No healing. Do you see me healing? I didn't think so. There we go. Let's grab the ceramic shard. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Not so much. Alright, so... Uh, I don't remember what's up here. Let's take a look. Actually, actually, I think this is the way forward, yeah. Alright, so before we... Uh, let's go ahead and watch the memory, I guess. Lady Emma, tell me, what has caused the state of this man? The rejuvenating waters, that is what it's called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also it springs from the dragon's blood. Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. Yeah, Kuro, he wants to stop the dragon's blood. All right, before we do that, let me go check down here real quick, see what was over here. Oh. I actually don't remember going down there on my first playthrough. Let's uh rest at the bonfire real quick. Uh, where is it? Yep, right here. I think we're actually going to uh, continue from here, guys. We're, we're already uh, pretty long into this uh, video here. So... I'm gonna go ahead and rest. We got like two or three prayer beads this, this episode, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, let's actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to Dilapidated Temple. Makes me feel safer <laughs> than just camping out in some hostile castle. Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and drop the video a like if you enjoy. I know that these videos don't get as many views as my Brahalla stuff, but I like doing other games as well like these um, so go ahead and comment whatever you feel like talking about um, I, I do read the comments so let's see did I oh yeah I leveled up I can get my skill let me get this skill really quick and then we will end the video I think I want to get either suppressed presence or ascending carp um, let's go ahead and do this one because this one, like, deflecting and posture and parrying is so important in this game, uh, especially in the bosses. So I'm going to spend all my skill points and get that. Alright, sick. Well, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian's Sword. Take it easy, my fellow Shinobi.